So welcome to Chimpon Cars. Today we're just testing out a product from Kaiweets. It's an articulating industrial boroscope. So uh, we've been uh, we've acquired one of these. Uh, we're going to give it a go. We've got an Austin A70 Hereford. We don't have a, a new head gasket for it, but we want to check out the bores in there. So it's quite a useful tool for doing that, we believe. So, so what we're going to do is open it up in a second and give it a go and have a look inside the bores. We'll do it all live. I've never used one of these before, so um, if it's easy to use, we'll get some good pictures. If it's difficult to use, well, you'll have to bear with me. First of all, on the back here, uh, we've got some uh, descriptions of uh, what we've actually got. So um, that's the model. Um, so it's got uh, quite a nice screen size, 4.3 inch. And uh, what else have we got that's interesting here? So it's got a 2000 megawatt battery. Um, and uh, yeah, battery life about three and a half hours. Um, so that's awesome. And it just charges up with a type C um, uh, plug. So uh, like uh, most modern mobile phones now. So uh, it does come with an SD card. Um, already with it which is handy um, you can actually take photos as well as videos uh, with this and we've got some uh, lens tips uh, that we're going to be going inside an engine so we're going to pop on the uh, protecting lens ring for this job right so let's get it opened up and see what we have so nice padded protective case first of all right they're the little tips, so I'll pop those in my pocket, otherwise I'm going to drop them. Ah, and that's the uh, charger as well. So uh, it is charged already, but we've got one of those. It's just the normal phone socket ends, so that's fine. Plenty of those in the house. Anyway, but good to have spares. Right, we'll just do away with the instructions for now, because we are blokes. We ought to be able to work these things out. So. Right, so let's get those tips on. So first of all then, we've got these little tips. Oops, almost dropped the one that I want there. Okay, so we've got a mirror one there, which could be quite useful, looking around corners. Uh, we've got one with a hook on it. We've not dropped anything in the bore of the engine, so we won't need that. And that one's got a magnet on the end of it. And again, we've not dropped anything in the bore, not yet anyway, so we won't need those. But let's uh, just pop those back in there. Otherwise, we're going to lose them. Okay, so let's pop this little protector on. So it appears to be a bit threaded at the end there. So let's just slide that on. So we're going to go inside the bore. That should give us a level of protection to the little lamps at the top there. Right, so. To turn it on, so we've got an on-off button just here. So this Kaiweets camera, uh, you can, uh, if you want to check it out for yourself, there will be a link up on the uh, top of the screen there um, for you to uh, go through and have a look at this yourself. So you can see the screen there. So the camera, even from that distance there, it's showing our shelf quite nicely. That's good. It's ideally more for close-up stuff. Let's have a look at how this camera works because it is an articulating one. Do you see that moving there? So that's going to be quite useful once we get inside the uh, the cylinder bore, isn't it? So let's go in straight at least. We'll go from there. Right, so just going to open up. So this is a 1950s A70 Hereford. So I'm just going to pop off one of these. Let's get a spark plug out. So it's be quite interesting to have a look in here. We've had this car in the family for years and years and years. The head has never been off. The cylinder block's never been apart and it's always been, as most Austins are, very, very reliable. And looking at that for a spark plug, yeah, it's a little bit grey, uh, dark and sooty rather than grey. Right, let's get the camera. Okay, so the screen there. So once we get close up on stuff, we see how the screen is actually meant to be an HD screen, high definition. And yeah, just looking at the cylinder block there, that's a pretty good picture, isn't it? You can see all the little dimples 
it's an Austin engine, 1950s, so it is going to be a bit oily. Right, so just going through the spark plug hole and let's have a look. Right, so it looks like the piston is pretty much near the top on this one. <laughs> in fact, it is almost that top dead centre by the looks of it. Right, so anyway, let's have a look in there. We can always open up another one. So I'm just going to move that camera around and... Yeah, you see, we are pretty much at top dead centre here. There's a bit of a, I don't know what that is on the uh, screen there. We do have some vertical scoring marks. Let's twist it the other way. Looks a bit wet, doesn't it, as well? Um, okay, so, just twist it to the side. Right, so, so let's put there. Yeah, that looks like a bit of oil on the top there, doesn't it? So we've got some vertical marks, vertical scoring marks. We appear to have a bit of oil on the top of the piston. So this engine's not been started for, I don't know, um, at least a week. Let's just pop that one back in a second, bear with me. Tighten it up in a mo. Let's get another one off where we've got a bit more. Hopefully, this one will not be at top dead centre. Too close to it. So, the first spark plug we bought out was a bit black and sooty. Let's have a look at this one, see if this one's any improvements. Use the lamp from this, and uh, it certainly looks a bit drier, a bit more grey looking. Okay, cool. Let's go in and see what we can find. So if I angle that right there. Right, so where's the piston? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay, that's quite near the top as well. Okay, that's handy. And yeah, vertical scoring marks there too. Top of the piston. Looks drier, much drier. Okay, so the first one there, so number two cylinder, I reckon we've got some oil coming down a valve stem, but not here. Some vertical scoring, but for a 1950s car, we're not looking too bad, are we? Okay, incredibly easy to use. So with this, we can uh, zoom in. Uh, not that's going to do much that close to a piston. Um, we can also change the brightness. Let's turn the lamp off completely. Let's turn it on to full brightness. We can take a photo um, with the little red button here actually. So if I wanted to take a photo of that, there we go. So we've got a 32 gigabyte storage card in there. And, um, and uh, we're almost full on battery as well. Not sure about 37 degrees centigrade. <laughs> it's a cold winter's day here. I'm pretty sure isn't it 37 degrees. Maybe uh, that represents something different. Maybe that's the, I don't know what that is actually. Right, so let's have a look at one more. We won't check all four, I'll pick that one up later. So I think you'd agree, it's quite easy to use, isn't it? Um, and for a job like this, it is absolutely perfect. So again, let's go in through, there we go. So this piston is way down. Let's move the tip. Just gonna twist it around a bit and move it the other way. There we go, that's better. Okay, so let's go down a bit deeper. Just twisting it, rotating it from side to side, as well as using the the fact that the uh, the tip can go go right. Oh, that's looking right up at a. Uh, all right, there we go. It goes so far down. We can look up at a valve. 
it's easy to lose track of exactly where you've got the end of this pointing. Right, here we go. So, uh, there's a vertical score there. Let's twist it around. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we do have some scoring, but for a 50s car, we ain't looking too bad, are we? Take a picture of that. And then going down to the piston, this one looks, uh, again, a little bit of a drop of oil there, isn't there? On the piston. So this one looks damp. So we found two that have got a bit of oil on them, but this one far less than the first one we looked at. Um, and uh, yeah, so, okay, so overall, I would say that uh, the tool itself is definitely easy to use. Um, genuinely, that's my first time trying to use it um, inside an engine or anywhere. So the tool's quite easy to use. Certainly does the job um, that I wanted it to do here today. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you'd agree the pictures on there are quite nice too. So there is a link um, uh, There's potentially a discount code as well. So do check out the link up on the, uh, the top of the screen um, Check them out for yourself. See what you think, but I'm certainly impressed with this We're going to make good use of this over the coming years and uh, we're going to find it quite useful uh, Not just for checking inside engines uh, for getting to bits of um, uh, Suspensions that are difficult to get to looking at joints um, I can uh, yeah think of all sorts of uses even when we uh, lose something underneath the driver's seat <laughs> Maybe we can find it with this or see if it's worth looking for if we drop a coin down there Cool, okay, well thanks for watching and uh, check them out for yourself and uh, we'll catch up with you in the next video